Oxford Practice Tests for the TOEIC Test, Volume 1. Published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2000. Επιμέλεια Γιώργος Πιτροπογιανάκης. Practice Test 1. Listening Comprehension. In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section, with special directions for each part. Part 1. Directions. For each question, you will see a picture in your test book, and you will hear four short statements. The statements will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speaker says. When you hear the four statements, look at the picture in your test book and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, on your answer sheet, find the number of the question and mark your answer. Look at the sample below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're looking out the window. B. They're having a meeting. C. They're eating in a restaurant. D. They're moving the furniture. Statement B. They're having a meeting. Best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should choose answer B. Go on to the next page. Now let us begin part one with question number one. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The customers have a standing order. B. The chef displays her wares. C. The exhibit hall is open. D. The stock trades low. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. He's greeting the dinner guests. B. He's carrying a tray of food. C. He's cooking in the kitchen. D. He's shopping for lunch. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The shoes are on the steps. B. The cowboys are wearing boots. C. They are taking off their shoes. D. The floor is 14 feet long. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. The flowers are lining the walk. B. The clerk is taking a break. C. The tailor is altering the tuxedo. D. The guest is registering at the hotel. Go on to the next page. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. The man is using a microphone. B. The man is talking on a cell phone. C. The man is buying new sunglasses. D. The man is putting his hands in his pockets. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. They're giving the woman a haircut. B. They're launching a spacecraft. C. They're examining something. D. They're wrapping a gift. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your test book. A. Most of the chairs are occupied. B. The jungle leaves are thick. C. There are lamps on every table. D. Few people are in the room. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your test book. 
A. The trays are stacked against the wall. B. The workers are wearing protective caps. C. The conveyor belt is carrying goods from the trucks. D. The glasses are washed by machine. Go on to the next page. Number nine. Look at the picture marked number nine in your test book. A. She's choosing produce. B. She's polishing her silver. C. She's growing her own vegetables. D. She's weighing herself. Number ten. Look at the picture marked number ten in your test book. A. The man is giving a presentation. B. The movie theater is dark. C. The lecture room is empty. D. The students are standing on their chairs. Number eleven. Look at the picture marked number eleven in your test book. A. All of the signs are for parking. B. Parking is forbidden in this area. C. The largest sign points to the left. D. The advertisement is in large letters. Number twelve. Look at the picture marked number twelve in your test book. A. They're commuting to work. B. They're working at their computers. C. They're standing in line. D. They're sharing a meal. Go on to the next page. Number thirteen. Look at the picture marked number thirteen in your test book. A. The women are changing uniforms. B. The women are eating their lunch. C. The women are cleaning the chairs. D. The women are chopping some sticks. Number fourteen. Look at the picture marked number fourteen in your test book. A. He's taking a bow. B. He's crossing his fingers. C. He's resting on the stairs. D. He's reading the paper. Number fifteen. Look at the picture marked number fifteen in your test book. A. The man is scrubbing the sink. B. The man is taking a bath. C. The man is washing his hands. D. The man is holding a plate. Number sixteen. Look at the picture marked number sixteen in your test book. A. The passenger is looking out the window. B. The spectator is watching the game. C. The witness is describing the accident. D. The bystander is walking behind. Go on to the next page. Number seventeen. Look at the picture marked number seventeen in your test book. A. The tourists are hanging out the laundry. B. The tour guide is pointing out a feature. C. The inspector is filling out a report. D. The citizens are waiting to vote. Number eighteen. Look at the picture marked number eighteen in your test book. A. The meeting is over. B. They are all wearing glasses. C. The windows are shut. D. One woman is standing. Number nineteen. 
Look at the picture marked number 19 in your test book. A. The scientists are adjusting the instruments. B. The technicians are putting away their lab coats. C. The attendants are putting gas in the car. D. The researchers are opening the blinds. Number 20. Look at the picture marked number 20 in your test book. A. The tankers are at sea. B. The ships are sailing in open waters. C. The boats are in the harbor. D. The freighters are leaving the port. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear a question spoken in English, followed by three responses also spoken in English. The question and the responses will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. You are to choose the best response to each question. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear... Good morning, John. How are you? You will also hear... A. I am fine, thank you. B. I am in the living room. C. My name is John. The best response to the question, How are you? is choice A. I am fine, thank you. Therefore, you should choose answer A. Now let us begin part two with question number 21. Number 21. Your office is still open, isn't it? A. It should be. B. Yes, I am. C. The officer is outside. Number 22. How can I access these files? A. The accessories are expensive. B. I can give you the code. C. The files are inside the house. Number 23. Your package arrived on time, didn't it? A. I'm afraid I'll be late again. B. I lost my luggage. C. Right when I needed it. Number 24. Do you think she'll finish the proposal before noon? A. He proposed to her last night. B. She promised she would. C. She finished second. Number 25. Where's the opera house? A. I think it starts at 9. B. It's the building on your left. C. I'll meet you at your house. Number 26. Would you consider moving to Hawaii? A. I would if it weren't so hot there. B. Hawaiian produce is shipped overnight. C. Let's move it later. Number 27. Does that electronic equipment work? A. I'm at work right now. B. Let's hope so. C. We will equip the workers. Number 28. You were supposed to hand deliver that bill, weren't you? A. That's not what I was told. B. They billed us for an express delivery. C. He always supposes the worst. Number 29. What kind of position are you applying for? A. Lying down. B. Four of them. C. A clerical one. Number 30. 
Haven't we already notified the highway department? A. I told the department head myself. B. I'll be ready shortly. C. I know which way to go. Number 31. Do you inspect every single device? A. They inspected every room. B. He'll devise a way. C. On certain products I do. Number 32. When did the ambassador leave the office? A. The embassy is closed. B. He dashed out minutes ago. C. He lives near the office. Number 33. Don't you advertise in the weekly newspaper? A. We haven't yet. B. I only read it on Sundays. C. Sales are weak this year. Number 34. What did you think of the downtown area? A. Let's drive down to the shore. B. It's very well laid out. C. They'll take aerial photographs. Number 35. Have the transcripts been reviewed yet? A. The movie got bad reviews. B. Every conscript has been informed. C. They only checked for typing errors. Number 36. Would you mind helping out in the other store? A. Will I get overtime? B. I shouldn't have had another helping. C. I'll help myself. Number 37. What rate does the credit union charge? A. We won't charge you for that. B. It's definitely less than the competition. C. They'll credit your account. Number 38. Do you also sell commercial properties? A. This is private property. B. Only in the central part of the city. C. I sell wholesale. Number 39. Do you use your email often? A. They always open my mail. B. I don't know how to use it. C. You'll use a lot of nails on that job. Number 40. Where will we display the new model? A. Let's put it in front of the store. B. He can play his flute anywhere. C. I don't think he knew about this place. Number 41. Do you know where I can find a stationary store? A. I'm looking for a stationary bike. B. I know where we can store it. C. There's one across town. Number 42. Are you familiar with the company policy on this? A. My family owns most of the land. B. The police knew all about it. C. I didn't know there was one. Number 43. Can you repair this for under $100? A. That's an expensive pair of socks. B. That should be possible. C. We fixed 400 of them. Number 44. When are the dividends usually dispersed? A. You should receive yours any day now. B. We do a few hours of work each day. C. This will help them concentrate.
Number 45. When can we expect to see you again? A. At next week's meeting, I hope. B. She's expecting any day now. C. We'll inspect them again later. Number 46. Why has the election been called off? A. Please call out your names. B. It hasn't. It's just been delayed. C. He appreciated your selection. Number 47. The ferry left on time, didn't it? A. I never left the boat. B. I ran out of time. C. It always does. Number 48. Could we have the banquet in the lower dining room? A. The meal was delicious. B. It wasn't very expensive. C. I don't see why not. Number 49. When does the supply truck arrive? A. Usually right after the lunch break. B. The ducks arrived early this year. C. The truck drivers are paid on Wednesday. Number 50. When did the new management take over? A. Early tomorrow morning. B. Late last month. C. Later tonight. Go on to the next page. Part 3 Directions In this part of the test, you will hear 30 short conversations between two people. The conversations will not be printed in your test book. You will hear the conversations only once, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. In your test book, you will read a question about each conversation. The question will be followed by four answers. You are to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Now let us begin part three with question number 51. Number 51. I thought the bus leaves on the hour. It usually does, but this is the holiday schedule. I completely forgot. I hope we won't be late for the game. Number 52. May I help you? Please. I'm looking for foreign magazines. They're in aisle two, at the back, next to the greeting cards. Number 53. Is that sound coming from the engine? I'm not sure. It could be the air conditioner. Let's pull over and take a look. Number 54. Paul, where did you learn how to read blueprints? I grew up with them. My parents had an architectural company and they would always explain things to me. I'll be building a house next year. Maybe we can do some business together. Number 55. I think that new assistant manager is going to work out, don't you? Yes. I've heard that he helps the staff out and hardly anyone calls in sick anymore. He'll probably be the manager before you know it. Number 56. Hello, room service. I ordered breakfast over half an hour ago. I'm sorry, sir, but the kitchen has been very busy this morning. We'll have your breakfast up to your room immediately. Please hurry. We have to check out soon if we're going to catch our plane. Number 57. 
Number 57. Maria, could we go over these blueprints for the supermarket after lunch? Yes, I just have to fax these specifications to the draftsmen. I hope it won't take long. We need to make some minor changes. Number 58. That's a pretty good sunburn you got there, Sam. I know. We were just about to leave the beach when we ran into some old friends. Here, try this cream. It should help. Number 59. Do you know where the key to the closet is? I believe Nancy left it on top of the filing cabinet next to the water cooler. Would you remind her to return it to the key holder? Number 60. How should I price these calculators? They were $39.95, Anthony, but let me check the current price list. Yes, I think the sales representative mentioned a price increase. Number 61. Let's see if we can make it to the island. I don't know, Jane. That's pretty far away, and I'm a little tired now. Just float for a while or do the backstroke if you get tired. Come on, you can do it. Number 62. I'll never take my car downtown again. Did you get another ticket, Sue, or couldn't you find a parking space? I wish it were just that. My car was broken into. Number 63. Emily, we're going to have lunch down by the shore. Why don't you join us? I'd love to, Stan, but Jack needs the inventory report by two. Well, maybe next time. You'd like the way they prepare their swordfish. Number 64. The marketing department needs more labels for this week's marketing campaign. There should be plenty in the supply office. Actually, they used them up in last week's big mailing. Number 65. Did you know that Shundor's stocks have been rising steadily? No, but I'm not surprised. The company's new director was hired because of her very successful track record with Morley and Sons. Interesting. I think I'll give my broker a call. Number 66. Will we have time to go out for lunch? I think we should have it delivered to the office. You're right. We can't afford to be late for that conference call. Number 67. Ms. Wang in the relocation department found you a house just outside Manila, Mr. Bendor. Good. I was afraid we'd have to live downtown. If you were in the center of the city, you wouldn't have to commute. Number 68. That looks like a pretty bad cut, Raul. How did you do that? I was using the paper cutter, but I was in too much of a rush. I think there's a first aid pack in the kitchen. Number 69. The noise level in this office is too high. Maybe we should put down wall to wall carpeting. That would reduce the sound. It'd also be expensive to install and maintain. Number 70. Have you seen the commercials of the Society of Engineers promoting their profession? The ones about the city's sewer system and the underground cable network? Yes, but the best one was about maintaining bridges and tunnels.
Number 71. Sebastian faxed me that he called the repairman two days ago. But did he come? It's still hot and humid in here. I'll email him right now and find out. Number 72. Excuse me, how far back is the dining car? Two cars, sir. Thank you. I hope they're still serving breakfast. Number 73. Is it possible to get a guided tour of the islands? Yes. Just sign up in the same office where you rented the boats. I wonder if we can get a discount since there are six of us. Number 74. Have you seen the new design for the warehouse? No, but I'd like to. I want to see where they're putting the conveyor belt. Here, take a look. The conveyor belt is here, and the service elevator is right next to it. Number 75. Is this the express train to Paris? No, ma'am. The express doesn't run until four o'clock. That's a shame. I wanted to get there before noon. Number 76. Would it be possible to have these copies stapled and collated by this afternoon? Yes, if Jerry can fix the machine this morning. Oh, I hope so. We're putting together 200 course packs for the sales seminar tonight. Go on to the next page. Number 77. How is the report going, Bart? The chairman of the board wants it by five, and I don't think I can do it. Bart, Judith, and I can help you. Number 78. I think I'll take the train to Paris. Flights are not much more expensive, and you'd be there much faster. That's fine, but I'm not really in a rush, and besides, I have so much I have to read. Number 79. I heard that we won the bid for the construction job for those two restaurants. We did, but I had to adjust our prices three times before we won. Well, the market is down, so competition is at its peak. Number 80. What is your minimum order for delivery purposes? $100. And deliveries are made on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Then could you add two rolls of fax paper and some stationery with a floral design? Part 4 Directions In this part of the test, you will hear several short talks. Each will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand and remember what is said. In your test book, you will read two or more questions about each short talk. The questions will be followed by four answers. You are to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Questions 81 through 83 refer to the following announcement. We learn how to work for money at school and on the job, but we don't really learn how to make our money work for us. This workshop teaches how to make your money work for you. Whether you want to work independently, plan for early retirement, or pay for college, you will discover how you can earn money from the stock market with this simple and proven approach. Find out how much capital is needed for your desired lifestyle and spot wise investments. 
Make your money work harder, so you don't have to. Now read question 81 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 82 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 83 in your test book and answer it. Questions 84 through 86 refer to the following report. After reviewing all the data, I have determined that the purchase of a sharp penny postage meter would result in time savings and increased office efficiency. Our volume of mail, at least 10,000 pieces a month, justifies the expense. The initial expense would be $350 for the meter and a monthly rental charge of $15. Servicing and maintenance and the replacement of any parts would be free of charge by Sharp Penny. Office workers could be taught how to use the machine inside of a half hour. Now read question 84 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 85 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 86 in your test book and answer it. Questions 87 and 88 refer to the following introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce our first speaker tonight, Stanley Lake. Stan has been a private jet pilot for over 15 years and is also the Vice President of Marketing at the Fallenworth Company. Stan will, I hope, share some exciting excerpts with us tonight from his new book, Piloting the Rich and Famous, before we get down to the business of airport safety management. Now read question 87 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 88 in your test book and answer it. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following notice. All local buses labeled with a blue B have been fitted with special racks to allow for bike transport. Always mount your bike from the curbside. Let the operator know you plan to use the rack. Remove water bottles, air pumps, or other items that could slip from your bike and potentially create a hazard. For safety reasons, the operator may not leave his seat to assist you but he or she can answer your questions. This program is part of our effort to improve air quality and keep you healthy. Now read question 89 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 90 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 91 in your test book and answer it. Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following news story. Despite the opposition of the U.S., the European Union, and the opponents of the SLORC party, Myanmar has finally been admitted to the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN. Myanmar Shipyards has just won a $3 million contract to build two freight vessels for Singapore's Jaya Marine Lines International. This will be the third contract Myanmar Shipyards has won, bidding for foreign shipping lines.
Indonesia's PT Container Company and Singapore's KC Marine Limited were the first two contractors. Now read question 92 in your test book and answer it. Go on to the next page. Now read question 93 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 94 in your test book and answer it. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk. I would like to thank everyone who participated in the development of the Brazilian market. Our position there is looking very good. The four-door sedan sales have gone up 9% and the minivans 6.5%. While on tour last month, I visited our factories and dealerships there as well as in Venezuela and was very pleased with the reorganization and the new safety measures that have been implemented. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge Mr. Carreras, the general manager. He has been running the operations in Brazil for just six months, and efficiency and morale there have improved considerably. Now read question 95 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 96 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 97 in your test book and answer it. Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following advertisement. How would you like to build your own home and pay only $5,000 for the building materials? You can, you know. Just call 1-800-652-8000. We're Dome Home Builders. Using our pre-cut, color-coded kits, you can easily assemble your own dome for as little as $5,000. These homes are attractive and energy efficient. For just $15, we'll send you a variety of floor plans and a 100-page catalog. To learn more, call now for a home dome color video for just $10. Now read question 98 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 99 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 100 in your test book and answer it. This is the end of the listening comprehension portion of practice test 1. Επιμέλεια Γιώργος Πιτροπογιανάκης.